For years now I've been looking for the right photography vehicle. Something that I could stay in overnight and still be able to get in tight places and still park it and get a decent parking spot at a restaurant. And I think I've found it with the Ford Econoline E250. The E stands for elastic, which I'll explain a little bit later. On the back of the van, I built a platform for my generator and also the cart that I use when I'm on hard surfaces. The generator is fixed up with an, on the alarm system so that if somebody opens it, it'll set the alarm off. All right, now let's uh, take a look at the inside of the van. But before we do, I have to hit the inflate button. So let me hit the inflate button. It takes a couple minutes, but uh, as soon as it's ready, I'll take you inside. This vehicle is made out of a very heavy latex, which is double wall thick, so it can stay inflated even when the doors are open. I've got a friend of mine who's got one he can inflate his up big enough for three bedrooms and a jacuzzi. All right, watch your step. We're going into the kitchen now that she's fully inflated. Uh, up ahead, there's my microwave. I do most of my cooking in a microwave. Uh, when I'm out on the road, I believe in taking care of yourself and eating right. And I cook and use the four major food groups, canned, boxed, bagged, and frozen. There's my refrigerator. And there's the bed. One thing you got to remember before you deflate one of these inflatable vans, that if you got a cat, is you get the cat out of there first. Old Sam was a good cat. Well, actually, it makes a good pot holder now. Well, this is my bathroom. The only thing bad about the Econoline is it sits too close to the ground to, for me to install a black water tank. So I wind up controlling the odors by not using the bathroom until I'm up on the interstate. Then I just lock in the cruise control and mosey on back and take care of my business. I know when I flush the, when I flush the toilet, I get a lot of horn honking and a lot of people giving me fingers, but heck, what are them windshield wipers for anyway? Well, I guess that's about it. Time to deflate the van, wake up, and go to work. Thank you for watching.